I just think I just, I just, I'm sorry. It's all gone now. Tonight, continuing coverage on the catastrophic tornado outbreak over the weekend that claimed six lives here in the mid-state. Three of those deaths occurred in Madison after an EF2 tornado touched down. Fox 17 News' Amanda Chin spoke with a family in Madison who lost their home. She's joining us live tonight in Madison. Amanda. The family tells me they consider it a miracle. They're still here today. And you can see behind me the house is a total loss. And this woman tells me now she'll have to start from scratch. I'm going to have to take the loss and try and move on. I mean, that's all I can do. Marcella Chance had been inside her home of more than 25 years with her husband and youngest daughter. Next thing she heard. Madison, you need to take cover now. I repeat, Madison, you need to take cover now. The three of them hunkered down in their kitchen. You could feel stuff flying over us. You could feel some stuff hitting us. And me and my youngest daughter just sat there going, please, God, please, God, just let us make it through this. Thankfully, they were all okay. When they say it sounds like a freight train, it sounds worse than a freight train, in my opinion. Um, of course, we were crying and everything because we didn't know if it was going to spare our lives or not. But the Chance family's home is a total loss. We used ladders to try and get up here and salvage what we could salvage. Two years ago, the Chances spent $30,000 of their savings on renovations, new walls, windows, and all new furniture and appliances. We did all that to make it more comfortable for us to live in, and then I just think I just, I just, I'm sorry, it's all gone now. All the work that we put into, it's gone now. And like I said, there's so much personal stuff in there that I had from family and my grandmother and everything that it's gone. While their insurance company is assessing the damage. Raised three kids in this house and there's a lot of memories there. She couldn't afford insurance on the items inside her home. But Chance's daughter says her mom and dad never ask for help. It's very hard for me to accept things. And my sisters keep saying, you have to right now. It's just the way life is. You have to. And Chance's daughters have started a GoFundMe page for their parents as they continue to rebuild. If you would like to donate, we have that link on our website at fox17.com. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Amanda Chin, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.